So let's simplify the fraction 24 70 seconds. Really, all we're trying to do is find another number that's equal to 24 divided by 72, an equivalent fraction. It's just that that fraction is in lowest terms. So we can do this two ways. Let's start out by looking at the factors of 24 and 72 and finding a common factor, something that goes into 24 and 72. So these are the factors. And what we need to do is find the greatest common factor between 24 and 72. So I see 12, and is there anything larger? Yep, 24. So 24 goes into 24 itself and 72. So let's divide 24 by itself and then divide 72 by 24, and we'll simplify the fraction. Let's move this over here. So I divide 24 by 24, that just gives me one. And when I divide 72 by 24, I get three. So 24, 70 seconds can be simplified or reduced down to one third. We can't reduce this any further. And these are equivalent fractions. You divide 24 by 72 or one by three, you'll get the same number. There is one more way we can do this. If we didn't know that three times 24 is 72, we could just divide each of these numbers by two since they're even numbers. 24 divided by two, that gives us 12. 72 divided by two, that's 36. And now you might see that 12, that goes into 36 three times. So 12 divided by 12 is one, 36 divided by 12 is three. But if you didn't see that, you could divide this by two and 36 by two again, since they're even, and you could just add another step right here. Either way, when you simplify 24 70 seconds down to its lowest terms, you get one third. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.